Hi, my name is Carter Schoenberg. I have about 22 years combined experience ranging from law enforcement to cybersecurity to cyber threat intelligence. Today's class is focusing on cyber risk for business owners. For a number of years being in this industry, I've heard it time and time again. Leadership doesn't get it. They don't give us the buy-in. They just won't give us the support that we need. At a certain point, you have to ask yourself, is it that they don't get it? Or is it that we as an industry are continuing to struggle in taking a technical threat and translating it into a business or mission risk? So for this particular class, we'll be focusing on what does the current cyber threat landscape look like and how does that directly apply to your business in core mission operations? Then we'll be focusing on a couple of legal concepts that are directly relative to cyber security. Next, we'll be talking about something that's highly debated can you actually show a return on investment for security versus a um, reduction in your total cost of ownership? Next, we'll be talking about supply chain. And I'm not talking about supply chain like you're getting parts to manufacture an aircraft, but your actual strategic business partners. If they're able to access your data or they're touching on your networks, this is a liability for your corporate enterprise. Think of the OPM breach. Think of the target breach. These were directly attributed to third party relations. We'll also be focusing on the cyber implications of publicly traded companies. You'll be advised on what the Security and Exchange Commission has currently been focusing on and how they're moving more from guidance towards enforcement action. And then finally, we will conclude with the topics on cybersecurity insurance. What's the value proposition and how can you potentially use that to offset your financial losses in the face of a cyber breach? On behalf of my company in Cyberary, thank you very much for your interest.